started hand cycling when I moved to Detroit. Typically, like a weekend ride, I love to ride about 12 miles. I won the Detroit Free Press Marathon in 2017 in the women's hand cycle division. Ford recruited me right out of college. I went to MIT and got my bachelor's and master's in mechanical engineering. I really love the point where software meets hardware meets the customer. And vehicles are really cool because they're one of the only products that you actually get inside of. Okay, so I do not drive a Ford because until we released the Maki, there was really no Ford that I could get into. I dream of a world where I don't have to take my wheelchair apart. I would love to be able to like just transfer out of my wheelchair and just be able to like kick back and not have to drive. It's really easy to kind of forget about underrepresented groups because they're not in the room. Like we are not as diverse and inclusive as we want to be in the automotive industry at large, but also at Ford. When I got the opportunity to come to the experience design team and work on autonomous vehicles, I was really excited because I feel like we're just that much closer to our customers. So you get the measure from Bobby's toes. So the length is slightly less than 50. Okay, so blue chair. For length. There's length and width. I don't think we measured the width. So today we were looking at the interior spaciousness of a vehicle from a wheelchair user's point of view. And there's a lot of people who stay home because there are not products that are accessible if we can make something that meets their needs. They can be out in the world just like everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody so you would have like yeah. a stopping position for say like a parking lot and then you might have another stopping position that's up a little higher. So, I was volunteering with our employee resource group dedicated to disability and so it's kind of like the side burner passion project started working its way into more and more of my job until it just became obvious that that is something that I could bring to the table that we didn't have yet at Ford and so we created a full-time position for it. This is obviously the practical solution. I think it shows that Ford, as an organization, is willing to change, is being more inclusive, and we're not just sticking to our old processes because they've been around. We're looking to disrupt them, to change, and to really be better. Ford is rooted in the desire and the effort to remove obstacles that limit people's progress. The AVs provide a tool that empower people to move and pursue their dreams and live their best lives. I think Emily provides a unique perspective that's not only rooted in her challenges with mobility, but also in her genuine desire to improve the lives of people around her. I try to remember, you know, progress over perfection. So it's not gonna be, you know, perfect immediately, but as long as we're doing a little bit better than we did the day before, we'll get there.